There's a game on this list that I am so freaking pumped for. I've been waiting for it to hit Switch since the launch of this dang platform, so clever intros out the window. I just want to get into this week's seven new Switch games. Six are brand new titles. One is a release date update. Plus, we've got the two NES games that Nintendo is bringing to the online service in February. And, Gabe, and to up the ante, we're giving away a real good Switch game in today's video. Yes, a really good Switch game. One of my favorite Switch games of the year so far. I know the year is quite young, but we are giving away Tales of Vesperia Definitive Edition. My favorite Ooh. game of January. It is $50, so you are going to be saving quite a bit of coin if you win this. We will announce the winner next week during the same video that we do every single week on Thursday or Friday. And man... Zach, this is a fun one. I know a lot of people maybe even missed out on this one because they just got new Super Mario Brothers U instead. So this is a perfect opportunity for one lucky winner. What do they have to do in order to win the code though, Zach? All you got to do is like the video and leave a comment letting us know which of this week's games you are most excited for and why, and then come back next Thursday and we'll announce the winner. It's, you know, the eShop's doing a lot of sales. We're doing our own sale, 100% off Tales of Vesperia for one person. So, so get those comments going. And let's get into this list, Gabe. I'm going to start with a game that I am bowing down to, hopefully coming to the platform. It's, it's a tease, but it sounds like a very concrete tease. This is Speedrunner's and hopefully it's coming to Switch. Tiny Build has supported the platform for a long time, and when someone asked uh, the CEO of the company, I would pay $60 for speedrunners, please do it, will you do it? He said, it will be $15, can you donate the other 45 to a good cause? Now that's not a PR blast official confirmation, but he says the game will be 15, so it probably is coming pretty soon. They've put a lot of their other games on Switch, games like Cluster Truck, games like Party Hard, but man, Speedrunners is the gem of all the multiplayer fanfare. This is the one I've been waiting for. Me and my brothers go crazy with this game. We're all very good at it. We scream, we yell. It is an absolute blast. You're running through 2D stages, almost Super Mario style. As the screen shrinks, you got power-ups. I kind of like to think of it as like 2D Mario Kart on foot. 2D Mario Kart on foot is a perfect way to put it. I've played Speedrunners, not nearly as much as you, but it is a super fun game. And although there's no like official Switch trailer to go along with it or anything, it's happening. The CEO of the company is saying it's happening, so we can pretty much call this an announcement for the most part, and I can't wait. Hopefully it happens sooner rather than later. This will be really, really fun to play with in person, Zach. I'm going to demolish you. I, oh, yeah, yeah, right. This is a absolute blast. It needs to come fast. $15 is a good price, and I want it on Switch. So Alex and Tiny Build, let's go. From there, we go to Cube 2, a beloved puzzle game that is coming to Switcheroo. Uh, it's getting a Super Rare Games physical edition, and it's also coming to the eShop on the 21st of February. It'll be 30 bucks. Uh, it is a pretty beefy package. I played Cube 1. I didn't play Cube 2, though. Yeah, this clearly reminds people of Portal a little bit. I'm sure it was maybe inspired by it uh, just a tad. But yeah, solving puzzles with uh, all these like super intricate different gameplay mechanics is really, really cool. And I think the game is a little bit of a looker, too. I like the art style and the polish that it has. Hopefully, it looks as good on Nintendo Switch. But yeah, solving these puzzles, I always feel so proud of myself when I like complete some <laughs> of the more difficult ones. I love it. Yeah, it is very positively uh, reviewed on Steam. has a pretty darn uh, solid Metacritic of 76, and it does look gorgeous. Also, it's 25 bucks on Steam, so it's not seen like a huge price hike, which is always nice and i miss portal i'm surprised portal isn't on switch itself so this is one that i'm definitely pumped for um and can't wait to play it's it's coming soon so that'll be that'll be good i like that a lot you know what else i like or what i liked i don't know what did you like a lot of things to be fair I liked Yu-Gi-Oh! a lot when I was younger. <laughs> I think the simplicity, but yet the strategy of deck building and, and that card game was awesome. And somehow, in 2019, Konami is bringing a new Yu-Gi-Oh! game to Nintendo Switch. Shout out to Yu-Gi-Oh! fans out there. Hands in the sky for Blue Eyes White Dragon fans. Legacy of the Duelist is hitting the Switch. 
uh, in sometime in 2019, it seems like. Maybe later. They haven't announced a release date yet, but they say uh, more will be unveiled in the April 2019 issue of V Jump. Uh, which is coming on the 21st of February, so that's a lot of date confusion. Basically, this new Yu-Gi-Oh! game, which the full title is Legacy of the Duelist Link Evolution, it's a competitive Yu-Gi-Oh! card game, video game, uh, and it takes advantage of the new Master Rules, and will be hitting Switch at some point in the future. Insert pun about the heart of the cards, insert pun about like going back in time to Pharaohs when... Yu-Gi-Oh was popular. I can't believe this still exists. When when you told me about this, I was like, "Why Yu-Gi-Oh is still a thing?" I didn't know, but clearly there's some demand. If a company like Konami, Konami doesn't really do things unless they feel like they're going to make money. Uh, I don't know, Zach. Hold on, I have a question. Hey, I'm, I'm sad that you don't have excitement here. No, I have a question. Okay. How many Yu-Gi-Oh cards can you mention besides like Blue Eyes White Dragon? Exodia. Is that it? Is that uh, Dark is that... Magician? Oh, okay. Um. What's did, that one called Karibo? I don't know. I didn't mean for um, this to become a thing. No, I, uh, I, I don't. I don't have too much of an affinity <laughs> for Yu-Gi-Oh. I saw the like anime or cartoon, whatever people want to call it. You know, when when it was airing. But yeah, I, I don't. Not my thing. Gabe, you remind me of Kaiba. We'll move on. Seto uh, Kaiba. <laughs> Hey, hey, if, if you weren't a Yu-Gi-Oh player, you probably were a Pokemon player. And uh, whether it was cards or a game, this title, Monster Crown, is clearly inspired by all of it and it was previously announced but now it's coming to switch um and indie publisher sodesco has taken over publishing duties and are going to bring it to console so it has 200 plus different unique monsters unravel a deep and dark story about a choice with grave consequences venture online to battle against others trade i mean it's basically old school pokemon coming hopefully uh this year and it actually looks kind of cool just to get a totally different take on what Pocket Monsters could be like if they weren't produced by Game Freak, Nintendo, and the Pokemon Company. This feels like a little bit weird just to see like how much it's like the older Pokemon games. And of course, it has some of the newer stuff that you mentioned, like online battle systems and things like that. But am I a little bit crazy in saying that this looks kind of cool? <laughs> it does look kind of cool just from a standpoint of like, I want to see what kind of creatures and characters they can come up with i'm i'm guessing the quality will not be matching um you know the, the the tried and true pokemon games and we are getting gen 8 something brand spanking new but if you want to throw back and you want to experience it on switch i do think this is pretty cool i will give you um one monster example uh whose name is Laz, and it is the corpse of a common animal reanimated by an evil fungus. So they have very creative minds yeah. <laughs> over there. For anyone the that Monster missed Crown it, team. Laz, Lazarus. Uh, oh, man, this is cute. Very, very nice. So we're going to keep our eye on Monster Crown. No release date, um, but they are providing regular updates, and hopefully it, it hits sometime this year. Let's go to a game that's hitting real real soon captain star one this is our release date update it's coming february the 7th in north america which is today and then in europe on the 12th it's 9.99 it is a very cute cute strategy game in space uh it was announced last year finally dropping it actually looks pretty cool i don't know if it'll pan out to be as quality um as i would hope but it's got a very clever art style, um, and it says that you will be setting your strategies and combos before multitasking as the game carries out your commands. It's a unique blend of action and inaction. Once you're all set, simply sit back, watch the battles unfold, and be ready to jump straight back in to provide a helping hand. So this kind of sounds like parenting to me. I wouldn't know anything about that. I do know that this is a very cute little art style. I, I like that quite a bit. Yeah, it looks, it looks kind of fun. We'll keep our eyes on it. It's coming out real soon. Claybook is definitely a cute one, Gabe, but a very different style. This one is actually uh, made by Second Order, who is a studio comprised of former Ubisoft Red Lynx veterans, and they have made a physics-based puzzle adventure all about clay, and it really looks like clay. Like, if, if Nintendo does great work with yarn... And wool, like, these guys in second order do great work with clay. And it has um, co-op. It has uh, competitive, which is very cool. It's local. Uh, it also has online leaderboards if you want to dabble in 
competition with the rest of the world, and you can create your own stuff in sandbox mode, you can rewind, you can move balls of clay, manipulate the entire world. It, it actually looks really nice, and it's supposed to hit in March. How do you compete? Like, who, who can clear out the clay the best? I, I don't know what the... <laughs> competitive aspect is going to be like but i mean this is unique to say the least i don't know we have seen too many video games based on clay bef before besides clay fighter i guess that was yeah i was gonna say yeah bring me back to clay fighter <laughs> yeah sure um, but, that but, but other than that i can't i mean let us know in the comments if you can think of any games that were placing such clay a, games yeah a heavy emphasis on clay other than clay fighter yeah a very it looks so just gooey like i don't know it's just got such a good look about it and it's kind of hard to understand exactly what the puzzles will be i'm guessing they're going to be more like oh build this to get to the end type things i would i would venture to say you're like taking control of different shapes and moving them all around um it's a little nebulous in terms of exactly what you're doing but they definitely have my interest peaked based on the art style um and just based on it looks like i could just like reach into the skin and grab it. I also want to see how we compete with Clay. So we'll keep our eyes on Claybook. It's coming soon. It's got solid pedigree, um, and hopefully we can put it through the paces. A game that I don't need to put through the paces, but I'm pretty pumped that it's coming, is this physical package of Guacamelee. We have sung the praises of Guacamelee in numerous videos because it's kind of under the radar, it seems, on Switch, but they are bringing both games to one physical package. It's launching on May 28th for $40. Both games are available separately um, on the eShop right now, but this will include um, the, the two games on cartridge, no download. You can download the soundtracks, and you'll also get a double-sided poster like this is some sort of 1999 video game magazine. I know Zach is going to hang that on his wall, ladies and gentlemen, so be on the lookout for that. Guacamole doesn't need much of an introduction from us. We've sung its praises plenty of times before, but yeah, this is a really, really cool package. Just big fans of Guacamole can, can grab this. I'm glad that you don't have to download one of them. That would have been a huge bummer. Yeah. But yeah. I, I like yeah. that they're both on, 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 the, on the cartridge. Also includes an instruction manual. Ooh. Which is a, a super rarity yeah. um, in, in this day and age. And it's not a super rare games or a limited run. This looks like it's going to just be something that uh, you can get on store shelves. So I think that's nice that you don't have to worry about uh, it running out. Hopefully you can just go into a store and grab it. Let's not forget, Gabe, yeah. games that you can grab for free if you're a member of the Nintendo Switch online service. Nintendo loves to roll these out slowly. It is like... The, the 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 grand slow ball pitch coming straight your way. It's a change up though this month because we're getting two tentpole titles in Kirby's Adventure and Super Mario Bros. Two. That's a good one. That that game is so criminally underrated. I know like people. I mean, I guess now they like it, but back when I was a kid, none of my friends liked it just because it was so different from you know what Mario Bros. was and you know Mario Bros. Three already being out at that time. When, when by the time I played it, at least <sighs> criminally underrated. I'll say Zach. Yeah, I, I like both of these games a lot. I am a big fan of the character swapping, the Birdo bashing, and the creepy face mask that follows you around in Super Mario Bros. 2. It's it's really cool, and I might jump in and give it a go. It also has great bosses. I love Wart. I love Mauser. I wish they would make more appearances somewhere. I feel like they'd be a great fit for like the Mario and Luigi series, team up uh, with Fawful and characters of that sort. Alas, you can experience them on February 13th when these two get added. A pretty good list. I like this one. It's obvious which game I love. It's speedrunners 100%. Uh, Gabe, what are you picking from this? Pile? I want to become a Pokemon master with Monster Crown. That, that, that game looks <laughs> kind of sweet to me, honestly. Uh, just shout out to Cube 2 as well because that, that looks really fun. Yeah, I, I like... I like a lot. This I feel like this was one of the most solid releases. Even games uh, that we know very little about, like Claybook, look pretty darn cool. You got, you got Yu-Gi-Oh! coming your way. And then that Guacamelee double pack. Let us know in the comments down below which of these you're most excited for and why. If you want to win Vesperia, you got to do that. Hit that like button as well. And we will let you know who's grabbing the code next Thursday. So stay tuned for that. In the meantime, everybody, thanks so much for watching. Hope you're having a fantastic day and an enjoyable week of switch play for myself and gabe make sure to subscribe to stay up to date on the latest and greatest from the switch and these new releases slash announcements every week until then though switch force out